what's in the control tab. Hello, in this video, I will show you what's in the control tab. This is the engine room of your Spooky Tool Rig. It has individual output monitoring and control over each of your generators. It's also where you configure and control your bell feedback scan. Then use reverse lookup to find frequencies to programs in database if you wish. When you click the control tab, most of the screen is blank. Left, you see your generator buttons in the generator's pane. All are light red to show that they are stopped. Each button represents a generator. As I am using the test mode, there are many generator buttons here. We can see that Spooky2 software can control 127 generators at the same time. We can see the top number on each button is the USB port number. 1 represents generator 1, 2 represents generator 2. The button percentage shows the program's percentage completed. This is the VG button. It is a virtual generator. It controls the software generator. This can be used for generator shadowing and experimentation. For example, if you only have one generator and it is running programs, and you want to check other programs and settings, you can use this virtual generator. To start a generator, you need to choose a preset first. So we first choose a preset. Then go to the Control tab, take Override Generator, and open a generator. The text here shows this is a control pane for Generator 1, and it is currently running a preset named Detox Maintenance. If you want Generator 2 to be dedicated to Spooky2 Central or Plasma, you can right-click the Generator button and choose Yes. The button will have bold text. You will see the Spooky2 Plasma image here. When you find that the amplitude is always 5 volts, no matter what preset you use, you may have dedicated this generator to Spooky2 Central or Plasma. At this time, you can right-click this button and choose No. This will solve your problem. Let's go back to generator 1. We can see all the frequencies are listed here. This is the program column. This lists all programs in the preset. The estimated total runtime. This is the time it will take to transmit all programs in this sequence once. Current preset duration and current chain duration. This show how long the preset or chain have been running for. These are function buttons. If I click start, the preset will start. If I click pause, the preset will be paused. Click pause again, it will start running again. If I click hold, it keeps transmitting the current frequency, regardless of its dwell. This is useful when you feel a reaction to a frequency and wish to give it more time. Click hold again, it will run normally. Amplitude wobble and frequency wobble are set in the system tab here. Frequency wobble varies the frequency constantly to cover pathogen mutations and prevent them from becoming adapted to steady frequencies. I click it. You can see that the frequencies are wobbling. Click again. It will become normal. It's the same with amplitude wobble. You click amplitude wobble, amplitude varies constantly. If I click stop, the program will be stopped. The dwell here, it is the time's progress of each frequency, and the total here is the total number of seconds that frequency will transmit for. Normally 180 seconds, but longer for sweeps. In this preset, the total running time of a frequency is 78 seconds. Step is the position number of the current frequency, and the total is the number of frequencies contained in the program or sequence. Preset and total here. When you load the chain preset, these fields tell you which preset is currently transmitting and the total number of presets contained in this chain. Each factor accelerates all running programs for quick tests. Large values will force a long preset or chain preset to run rapidly 
through all these frequencies, allowing easy checks for errors. Delete button removes all the programs and frequencies in the list temporarily. Your programs will remain loaded in the other tabs. This is useful when you have a sequence loaded that you might have not saved, and you want to perform a biofeedback scan using this generator without having to reprogram. When you have finished your scan and saved its results, close the control panel and click your generator button again. But don't take override generator. Your sequence will appear in the control panel as you left it. If you want to stop the program for some reasons and want to resume the program after two hours, there are two ways to do this. The first one is to click the little gray button here. It will start from where you left off. The second way is that when you stop the generator, you need to write down the step and preset numbers. For example, when I stop, the step is 8 and the preset is 1. Then I click Control tab and click Start again. The program will be resumed. There is also a small gray button here. Clicking it will stop the program when the current loop ends. Frequency Adjustment Slider allows you to adjust the frequency that's currently running, up or down. You can set the amount here and adjust here. Click the Reset to Default button to move the slider back to its default position. I will show how to use Frequency Adjustment Slider later. Generator Output Pane this is where you can monitor exactly what Spooky2 is sending to each out of the generator. Shown for both are frequency, waveform, duty cycle, amplitude, offset, phase, angle, and current. You can see the frequency for all one and all two is 60. The waveform is square H bomb. The duty cycle is 50%. For example, I use the frequency adjustment slider. I enter rate to 10 Hz. Then I slide here. You can see that the output frequency is adjusting according to the slide. Save status appends the current generator output values to the text file cPanel spooky2 data status.csv. Increase GX collaboration. It's for advanced users only. This button increases the frequency collaboration for Generator X. Decrease GX collaboration is also for advanced users only. This button decreases the frequency collaboration for Generator X. This area shows you an image of your generator. Load, copy, paste, and erase buttons are only available for Generator X. Load brings up a load generator window for you to load the current contents of the generator pane into the Generator X offline programs. Copy saves the content of Generator X offline program storage to a text file on your computer. Paste loads the contents of a text file created by the copy button into the Generator X offline program storage. Overrides existing content. Reset resets your generator to its factory defaults. Note that its switch on beep will no longer sound. Erase erases the entire contents of the Generator X offline program storage. Sync reports whether the alls are currently synced together or not. This is a biofeedback scan pane. We have a video about what's in the bell feedback scan pane. You can configure your personal scan here. Now, we have all kinds of bell feedback scan presets for you to use. It's very convenient. After doing a bell feedback scan, if you want to do a reverse lookup, first you need to load your scan results, then click go here, and we also have videos about how to do a reverse lookup. Delete and close clears all programs and closes the generator control panel, allowing you to load other programs into the generator. All settings are left intact. Close button closes the generator control panel, 
leaving your sequence as it is. Okay, thanks for watching this video.